All right, fuckers. Uh, new Digilock upload. Whoa, I know what you're thinking. Digilock, you're making another tutorial of chromatics. You already fucking did one of those. Well, fuck you. I hate that video. That video sucks in its ass. So we're going to be doing another one. Another chromatic skills for poor people. All right. So same shit as last time. You're poor as fuck. You want to make Friday Night Funkin'. And you don't have any money, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to open Dark Audacity. You're going to open Dark Audacity. Then you're going to spit dumbass shit in the mic. Specifically this dumbass shit. Any of the vowels, any vowel ever that exists. It really doesn't matter if you use the main vowel as everybody else uses. Everyone usually just uses A-E-I-O-U. Sometimes you can just like mix in other like consonants at the start. Some people do fucking J. One of my friends I know is, does that. There's You can just do Q. Anything that includes those vowels, I think is fine. And then also in this tutorial later, I'll tell you how to do atonals. So let me just like spit dumb shit in the mic. All right. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to do a voice. I'm going to be like, like, A, E, A, O, U. Right, right, right. Kind of, kind of, kind of lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to open my file explorer. I have all my dumb shit I have. My, I, I, <laughs> my, my folders are very unorganized. Well, I've organized my files from last time. But yeah, we got chromatics. We got all my shit. Meow. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to do the sh same shit last time. We, we cut out all of this. And then we press control I to separate it all. Right. A E O U. Yep. That sounds good. All right. So you can stretch these if they're too short. I don't give a fuck right now. So they're just going to be these. Also, also, before you do anything, uh, make sure, where the fuck, amplify this. Amplifies this as much as you usually want it as loud as it can be. So, you, like, you, you can make it quieter later, because if you have a quiet ass chromatic, then you can't really do shit with that, can you? And then I'm just gonna, oh, that is way too loud. All right. Uh, <laughs> there we go. All right, so now what we do is that I'm going to make a new folder and I'm going to call it actually no I'm going to put it in my chromatics folder because I'm responsible I'm responsible and I organize my files said nobody ever all right chromatic funny and then what we're going to do is that we're going to export this as a wave don't forget that don't you dare fucking forget that or I'm going to kill you I'm going to kill you in your sleep you're going to die just kidding anyways where the f desktop where is it god duty it here it is music music chromatics chromatic funny now <clears throat> the program we're going to use later is a very different a very different program than the one i taught you last time i did it with utau utau gets results done it's just a piece of shit to work with. We're going to do something way easier. I'll give you a programmatic way faster and all that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to export this chromatic funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you export the first sample of your chromatic. Uh, you, you, you export it in like numerical order. So the first, the first uh, thing of your chromatic will be named one. The second one will be two. So on, so on, so forth. Do as many samples as you please. It doesn't really matter, but yeah. So we do, we go one and make sure it's like as high quality as you can make it. We do that one and then we do that one. Make sure you do export selected audio. I forgot to say that export selected audio. You're going to get the entire thing. Shut up. All right. Three, my cat's meowing in the background. Don't worry about it. All right. Three, four, five. All right. So now what we do 
is that you can save this if you want. I'm going to. I'm going to be like, meow. And then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to minimize my file explorer. And then we go to this crazy game banana page. Chromatic generator skill plus. What the heck? What the heck, chat? So what we do is we scroll down. And then you see Chromatic Gen Plus. What is this? What is this magical little program? As you could, uh, as you could probably do if you have any sense of like common fucking know all. D this is a chromatic scale generator. A it, 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 it does it for you. You don't need to deal with Utah anymore. It just, it just it does it. You just download this shit. If it'll let me, please, please. Please! Alright, we got it. Open it in your downloads. Chromatic Gens Plus. And then we get this, and then we chromatic generator.exe. Don't care, Windows, kill yourself. Oh my god! So, how this works, it's very simple. What you do is that you get your sample folder. You go to your chromatics folder, and then you get the folder you put all that shit in, right? So, you usually you usually don't want to fuck with any of these settings. C2. Range, turn that up to 48. That's the only thing you should change, other than like, uh... Yeah, that's the only thing you should really change. And then, don't do those. They, these kind of suck. Randomize samples, do that if you want. I don't really care. And then what we do... Is that we click this magical little button. I want you to guess what it does. It, it generates the fucking chromatic. Now we wait. And now we wait. And now we wait. And now we wait. And then it's done. And then we go in that folder we just made. And then there's going to be a magical little thing. Chromatic.wave. I wonder what it sounds like. Uh... What the fuck? It sounds like ass. <laughs> Which it usually does. Now, now, I'm gonna open a like if you. I mean, this kind of half requires watching the old video because I don't feel like downloading LMMS. So I'm gonna open my totally paid for version of FL Studio. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, you're supposed to pay for this program. How about you shut up? Shut up right now. Shut up. I'm gonna open Fruity Slicer. Actually, no, fuck that. I'm opening Slice X. And then we're going to not auto dump. We're going to open this. We're going to load sample. We're going to go to wherever the fuck I put this shit. Chromatic.wave. Dull auto. And then it's going to be like. And then the fucking sample. Cuts are messed up. Because it's, it's a bitch. Right? But yeah. But yeah. The, the whole making the chromatic part. Is just that you just you just do the samples and then you put them in the generator uh, putting them in your program uh, just follow the old tutorial you'll, you'll, you'll get you just follow the VSD part of that you'll get it you'll understand you're a big boy let me just this is gonna be like wait fuck let me just do that yeah and then that one and then and then that one and then it's all good and it's like okay why is the c note fucked oh because of course it is it's gonna be like and then we're gonna and then we're gonna put these funny effects and it's gonna be like it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be, like, and it sounds like, no, it sounds good, and then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, it's so peak, anyways. Atonals, atonals are the same shit. They're the same shit, except they kind of aren't. What you're gonna do, any, any music program you're using, pro, like, I'm assuming you would be using a free one. You could probably do this in, like, fucking band lab. I don't even know. So what you do is you record, Record an audio clip, one and two, and then what you do, what you do, the secret step nobody tells you, you open Reason, you open Reason, you open your boyfriend, FNF, voice changer, right? 
right? And then you sound like boyfriend FNF now. now. So what you do is that you turn the foreman up because it actually doesn't sound like boyfriend. Now, actually, fuck reason. We're not doing reason. I'm gonna open full bucket frequency shifter. I'm gonna open my Pico effect, and then I'm gonna be like, ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba. And then I'm gonna be like, and then I'm gonna be like, you're a bitch. Da baby da ba da ba. God say baby da ba da ba. You're a fucking bitch. I'm gonna kill you. Your balls are mine. Ba da do ba ga do ba da ya. Yeah, you just kind of spit random shit into the microphone. It really doesn't matter. You could you could use like vowels or whatever. Just don't give any like tune to it, right? And then I turn off my mic in FL so you don't hear my voice twice. And then I delete. Well, actually, don't delete that. So now we have this. You're a bitch. Da baby da ba da ba. Your balls are mine. You, you could use like vowels or whatever. Just don't give any like tune to it. It sounds like Pico, and then what we do? Your balls are mine. A a a do ba ga do ya. You could honestly. How you would do this in the chromatic generator, I think what you do is that you would chop these and then you would export any of the things. So we have all these. You're a, you're a, you're a bitch. It, it's pretty much the same shit. Except uh, when you export this, when you export this and then you're putting it in your file. Where the fuck is chromatic generator? The hell are you? Yeah. I'm exporting this just make sure you uncheck pitched that's that's the only change when you when you export all of your dumb little samples and then uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of cheating and that's called using FL studio because I've been doing that for the past 15 minutes and then I'm gonna call it Pico funny right and then I'm gonna and I'm gonna be like what the fuck and then I'm going to do it on my quick access. I'm going to put Pico Funny in. That's going to be like... I'm going to put it in my Slice X. That's going to be like... Oh yeah, by the way, by the way. If you do manage to acquire a version of FL Studio by dubious means. By dubious means, I totally mean actually paying for it. I totally paid for this, guys. What we're going to do is that uh first of all make sure your samples aren't fucked up also second of all before you do anything before you even put the chromatic in d d unclick this i see so many flps where auto dumps on don't do that that's gonna that's gonna auto dump every sample into here like it did look and then that fucks up your pattern sometimes delete that shit do not even like do not put auto dump on its ass except for like drums and these aren't drums, so it's gonna be like, and then he's gonna be like, <laughs> guys, it's Pico, and then and you're gonna get the other chromatic from earlier, and then he's gonna be like, 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 all right, that's the that's the tutorial. Fuck you, I'm done. <laughs>